Hey guys, once again welcome to our channel. Hopefully you guys are doing great. In today's video we'll be dealing with a new concept. Actually that's a, not a new concept. Um as it is one of our as it is a continuation of a, one of our previous concepts that we were discussing in our previous video. Um if you remember, make sure to check out that video before you watch this video. All right. So before we jump into the topic, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button, comment down below and share this video with your fellow friends all right so as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail the concept that we're going to discuss in today's video is orbitals all right so without wasting any of the precious time let's just get cough so orbitals now if you know that we discussed that principal quantum shells are split up into subshells now we should also know that these subshells can be further split up into things which are called atomic orbitals and these subshells can contain one or more atomic orbitals basically we know that uh, there are four subshells that we have discussed and that is required for your AS level that is S orbital P orbital D orbital and F orbital all right F subshell sorry these are the subshells that we have discussed and you should know that orbitals will exist at specific energy levels and electrons will be only found at these specific levels and not in between them all right so orbit so the orbitals are present in the subshells all right and the electrons will only be found in these orbitals not except that all right so each atomic orbital can be occupied by a maximum of two electrons that's a very important point Moving on to the next slide, if you see that this means that the number of orbitals in each subshell is as follows. Now we already know that each atomic orbital can be occupied, it can accommodate a maximum of two electrons, all right? And we know that uh, there are four subshells, S, P, D, and F. And we should know how many orbitals each subshell contains. So we know that S or subshell will contain one orbital, P subshell will contain three orbitals, D subshell will contain five orbitals and F subshell will contain seven orbitals. Keep in mind, all right, keep in mind this fact. Now, how electrons will be filled in these orbitals? Now we know that S subshell, as it contains only one orbital, the maximum number of electrons it can hold is only two electrons, all right? Now, the P subshell, it will contain three orbitals and they are labeled as P, X, P, Y and P, Z. They are not mentioned in the slide, but yeah, we will be discussing them further in our previous videos. So P subshell contains three orbitals and two electrons will be occupied by each orbital. This means two into three total of six electrons will be accommodated. And D subshell that will contain five orbitals. So we know that two electrons will go into each orbital. That will be two into five total of 10 electrons can be accommodated. And F will contain seven orbitals. So two electrons times seven orbitals that will be a total of 14 electrons. Keep in mind. Now, we should also know the orbitals have specific 3D shapes like the S orbital, P orbital, D orbital and F orbital. But for your AS level, you are just required to be aware of S and P orbitals. On until that. So let's talk about S orbitals. Let me just take one thing. Yeah. Okay. So if you talk about S orbital, you will see this is this shape that we draw usually. Okay, but actually it has a shape of spherical, but when you're drawing, when you're writing in your papers, you will see that um, uh, when you're writing in papers, make sure that um, you draw them as circles. All right. And this is an alternative way that you can use to represent the S orbitals because they're showing, they are uh, showing with their respective two axes. You will see that, this, for example, this S orbital is on a PZ axis. This orbital is on a PX axis. This orbital is on a PY axis. You can show them. You can show the, you can represent the S orbitals this way also. Now let's talk about P orbitals. So if you see P orbitals, they are like dumbbell shaped. All right. And we know that uh, P orbitals will contain PX, PY and PZ. Okay. They are like uh, P subshell will contain these three orbitals, PX, PY and PZ. And these dumbbell shaped orbitals will should be arranged. They should be. All right. They should be arranged 
uh, with respect to their uh, with, with respect to their axis for example this p will px orbital and uh, this is a px orbital this is a py orbital and this is a pz orbital it's a pz orbital and these three orbitals will make up a p subshell all right so that's the things that's important things that you, that you, that you need to be aware of all right moving on The shape of d orbitals is not required at s level also the shape of the f orbitals is not required at s level make sure that so this is an overview of shells subshell and orbitals you will see that they are uh, in this diagram basically the diagram represents that um, in the shell the shells are divided further into subshells you can see here one second let me just label that this is the this is a shell if you see and these shells are further divided into subshells here are the subshells and these subshells they are further divided into atomic orbitals now you can see these are the atomic orbitals these are the atomic orbitals all right so the shell will contain subshell and subshell will contain atomic orbitals make sure to make sure to take a note of that so that's it for today's video i hope you understood the concept of orbitals very well in today's video um hopefully you will be in our next video we will be discussing the ground state what actually is the ground state and uh, by definition by definition what is the ground state and how atoms are filled in order of increasing energy that also we're going to discuss soon in our upcoming videos make sure to subscribe to our channel hit the like button comment down below share with your fellow friends uh, that's it cheers